Hey peep, I'm going to continue along here and try to give you some really good golden nuggets that you can use. Uh, it, you know, when you study this stuff for as long as I have, it, it's hard to know where to start with people. It's kind of a difficult subject to teach uh, because people are so green and you become so used to, as one law professor once told me, law makes you think differently. You become so used to thinking differently that it becomes uh, a real struggle to try to come back to basics and figure out what people do and don't know in order to teach them this stuff. So I just want to keep moving along and give you all this free information that you can really uh, move forward with and study, actively look these things up and actively do something. I, I want you guys as much as possible to spread out this information as far and wide as you can. I'm here to do this for free because I'm fed up with what's going on. Things are absolutely way, way out of control. I focus heavily on traffic, as you know, because once you understand traffic, you understand the whole rest of the criminal gig that they try to tie you into. Now, the reason why they will fight so hard to keep you from getting anywhere in their courts. They'll call you a pro sayer, even though that's not what you ever should call yourself. They're told to knock down pro sayers at all costs. Why? Because tra the traffic ticket industry is the growth industry in this country. It is the hu one of the hugest revenue raisers that there is. In California, it's the biggest revenue raiser. So they're going to go to every length they can to shut this down. Why? To shut down my information and what you're learning here. Why? Because the debt system of usury, slavery, Federal Reserve notes is all based on perpetuating that debt forever. They need to service the debt because the Chinese and the Russians are now stating publicly we're not going to keep buying up your treasuries supporting your dollar let's get a new currency going on and once that happens folks we're in a whole world of trouble <clears throat> so we have to fight back on an individual level and we have to spread this information as much as possible i will not hold anything back ask me questions and i'll answer them in video format on approximately a week by week basis here's something for you in new york law when it comes to traffic tickets they will call them a summons a traffic summons is it a summons? I'm applying this again to New York State, but you can cross-reference this to all your states across the nation. When you even reference case law, you're going to find the judges referencing traffic summons. Well, is a traffic ticket a summons? Of course not. Go straight to 130.10 and look under number two. A summons must be subscribed by the issuing judge and must state or contain blah, 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 blah. Must be subscribed by the issuing judge. When have you ever received a traffic ticket that was signed by a judge? People, ever. Has it ever happened? I would dare say 99% of the time, absolutely not. So, how does this work? What people are not understanding is, is it's an assumption and presumptive game. If you don't counter this stuff properly, you are going to be presumed and assumed to be in agreement with whatever they call it. This is how law works. If it did not work like this, the courts would be so clogged up with people stuck in they're trying to figure out well, what does he mean by this, what does he mean by that, etc., etc., etc. Just one big mess. The only way court processes can, be, can move forward is through assuming that you are in agreement with what is going on. This happens 24 hours a day in every courtroom there is all the time. All the time in every single case. The sooner you guys realize that, and realize that the presumption and assumption is what destroys you 90-95% of the time you'll begin to learn what you should be doing to exert your rights. Remember what the Miranda warning says, you have the right to remain silent. Everything you say can and will be used against you. Silence equates to acquiescence. It equates to agreement. Remember what I just said about presumption and assumption. 
If you remain silent, you are assumed and presumed to be in agreement. Now let's go over the second part of that Miranda warning. Everything you say can and will be used against you. Why do you think they have you plead guilty or not guilty? It carries the presumption assumption of guilt. If you're not guilty of this, you must be guilty of something else. There's no innocent or not innocent. Therefore, anything you say can and will be used against you to prove your guilt. So if you say I am innocent, they did it, that will be used to prove that you did it. Do you understand how important this is? That Miranda is designed to trap you. So what do you do? You choose to exercise silence when and where you want per question. You never ever exercise silence to everything, ever, because you do not want to be held in a presumptive, assumptive trap. So when an officer pulls up to your car and asks you, license and registration please, and you pull out your license, you're, you're giving away all sorts of stuff that enables them to, to use it against you and you're self-incriminating the works. What if you choose to remain silent? Officer, will anything I say be used against me? You will of course say yes. Well, how then can I help you if anything at all that I say will of course be used against me? When I have to be insane to say anything to you since you will in turn use it against me to try to put me in jail or garner fine monies? Of course. So, one way to handle this is when you're asked questions, ask questions back. Cooperate fully, keep your hands where they can see them on your steering wheel, let the officer know, officer, I am here to cooperate fully, but you must understand that I can't say anything that will self-incriminate myself, and I can't answer your questions that could be used against me. So in that light, how can I help you? Well, the officers aren't going to like this, because most officers are ignorant. So what they'll give you is this traffic ticket, aka uniform traffic ticket ticket, a.k.a. traffic summons, and case law is formed saying there was a traffic summons issued, but remember, that case law, since there can be no law coming from the judicial branch, only the legislative branch can issue law, pertains only to that case. Why? Because that person accepted the traffic ticket as a summons on the record, as the record shows, and therefore, that's how it was referred to. What you will find is it's a constant game of trickery. And you have to learn what they're doing. It is blatant, clear-cut fraud being used against you. But, as long as you're in agreement with the fraud, everyone's happy. I guess, including yourself. What else can we cover here? Uh, just as an aside, I referenced that I'll be giving away a lot of golden nuggets here. Just as an aside, folks, on the money issue, we cannot return to gold as our primary money source. We cannot. Why? Because it has been hoarded by the elites. A lot in this patriot movement, on these various shows, uh, promote gold purchasing. Now, if you've got it, and you're using gold or silver coins, and... Uh, you're using it for transactions now, that's all fine and dandy, and I support that. But if the economy collapses, if we enter into worldwide depression, and they try to initiate a new currency of any kind that's based on gold, well, how's that going to work well if the richest of the rich have most of the gold? You see the problem there? So stay tuned, send me questions, send comments, I'll respond to everything I can in video format, start using this information, start standing up for yourself, stop allowing the government to be your god, as so many of you do, begging, demanding that the court give you your rights. Folks, what authority did they even have to issue rights to begin with? They issue you privileges. Either be a happy slave abide by their rule and accept their privileges or learn the law and start exerting yourself properly. Stay tuned.